Hello and welcome back to The Wasteland. Today I'm going to be showing you how to have a very strong start in Fallout New Vegas. We're actually going to be going over three very strong starts in New Vegas. One that is just kind of a moderately strong start, one that is a pretty strong start with a little bit of a bonus, and one that is just flat out a broken start where it is really, really strong and kind of trivializes the rest of the game, so I don't really like doing it. Anyway, all of these follow kind of the same formula, it's just there's more steps the further we go. So the very first step is starting a new game in Fallout New Vegas and going through the tutorial section. Once you wake up at Doc Mitchell's, you can pick your character's name, you can pick how they look, doesn't matter whether you're male or female in this, there's no inherent advantage for either one of them. There's plenty of perks that go both ways. Then pick whatever your special stat is going to be. Special stats, you can pick whatever you would like. For the sake of this video though, for special stats, the only stats you actually have to worry about are agility and endurance. I'd recommend six in both of those, just so that we can then get the perks that we're going to be using in the stronger builds. If you don't plan on doing that, and you only plan on doing the first part, then ignore this. Pick whatever special stats you would like. Then follow Doc Mitchell into the next room. Of course, be sure to loot Doc Mitchell's house while you're there. That's just tradition, and it will get you some extra money to start out with, which is kind of useful. Talk to him on his couch, and then select whatever answers you would like. For the skills that you can tag, I would recommend these three being Barter, Repair, and Survival. These are going to be important for a couple of reasons. Barter for skill checks, which we're going to use to exploit some things in the start of this game. Repair so that we can get certain perks, and also Survival so we can get certain perks. Then pick your traits. The very first trait that I would say that you should always pick is Skilled. Skilled is bugged and we can actually get it multiple times throughout the game so we get plus five stats to everything which is extremely strong, especially early on into the game. So be sure to take that one. As for a second trait, you can take whatever you would like. I would highly recommend that you take Good Natured for this one though just so that we get extra stats for non-combat skills which we're not really going to need at the very start of this game. Once you've picked all these stats, you can actually just leave Good Springs if you would like. This is for the kind of strong early start, which is going to the end of Good Springs. And then when it asks you if you would like to rebuild your character, be sure that you respec your character, pick whatever special stats you'd like, and then be sure to pick the skill trait once again. That way you get an additional five points to every single skill, so you'll start out with a plus 10 to every single skill stat. The only downside to this is that you have the minus 10% uh, experience debuff. That actually doesn't stack. It doesn't matter how many times you take this. You will still only have the minus 10% to that, so don't worry about taking this multiple times. And it gives you a huge advantage at the very start because you just have extra skill points than you otherwise would. You can also take this one more time later on to the game after you've completed Old World Blues, or well, you've completed Old World Blues whenever you go back to it and you talk to the auto doc there. He can also reset your traits once, so that way you can pick skilled once again if you'd like to have it for a third time and have plus 15 to every single stat. Now that's the simple way to start out, to be a little bit stronger than you otherwise would. Nothing too crazy there, it's just 5 extra or 10 extra skill points to everything, which is really, really strong but it's a very simple trick that you can do with any sort of build. For our second build to get a little bit stronger though, we're gonna do all those same exact steps, but we're gonna add a little bit to this. We're gonna add a couple more steps to this. Mostly, you wanna be doing the rest of the tutorial within Good Springs, and you don't want to leave Good Springs until you've hit at least level two. So go ahead and do the tutorial for Sunny. So go get her varmint rifle, go kill the geckos, grab the shovel at the water spring, be sure to go loot the graves at the graveyard, um, grab all of the ingredients that you need to make the healing powder as well as you can go to the schoolyard and break into the safe there. If you break into the safe by both hacking it and then lockpicking it, that does get you a lot of XP. Maybe you won't quite hit to level 2 there, but that's alright. You can always wait 3 days for the geckos to actually respawn at the springs and then kill them. You can also snipe at the coyotes that are a little bit further away in front of Good Springs. And you could also potentially just kill the Bark Scorpion that usually respawns within Good Springs as well. There's also a couple speech checks that you can do here, especially if you plan on doing Ringo's quest. So you can talk to all the townspeople and hit those skill checks and then get extra XP that way. Once you hit level 2, be sure that you pick one of the four perks that come with dead money. The reason being is that these don't actually go away when you respec. So these four skills are In Shining Armor, which is a skill that does absolutely nothing and I wouldn't recommend that you take it whatsoever. So pick one of the other three. Either Light Touch, which is an amazing perk and it's really strong for almost any build besides explosive builds early on. Junk Rounds, which can get you a little bit more value, but it's generally not one of the best perks and Old World Gourmet, which is generally one of the better perks if you're going with like an explosive build or you want to have more survival for it. Pick one of those ones, then you can once again leave Good Springs and respec because the dead money perks don't leave. So respec, pick skilled again, and then you will go up to level two or just about to level two, it depends. Sometimes you get just short of it and you have to get a little bit more XP to get up to level two. And then you can pick another level two perk that will just be a permanent perk you have. And then you can have your dead money perk, whether that be Old World Gourmet or Light Touch, 
or junk rounds if you would like that. Now that's usually the build that I go with, so you can have one extra perk early on. It's kind of nice to have light touch, and then you can take something like rapid reload. Now there is one more thing that you can do on top of this to get you to even higher levels or potentially up to max level. In order to do this, you must complete the tutorial, talk to Trudy in town, that way she will be there with Joe Cobb, go out and talk to Joe Cobb, and agree to kill Ringo for this quest. Then head back into town, kill Ringo, uh, head back to Joe Cobb and tell him that you have killed Ringo. He'll tell you his plan to rob the town, kill Joe Cobb and all of his gang members, then go to Chet at the general store and constantly harass him with the skill check there. And you can do this for an infinite amount of times. Chet will give you a, essentially unlimited amounts of leather armor as well as an unlimited amount of XP. You can actually get all the way up to level 50 with this if you would like. It's going to take an extremely long time for you to do that. And if you want to take perks, you can actually take any perk that you would like. However, level four perks and below, besides the one in dead money, don't actually count towards your total perks, I guess, that you have. So if you were to take something like Hunter and then you leave Good Springs, it would actually refund Hunter. But if you were to take Old World Gourmet at level two and Light Touch at level four, or let's say Junk Rounds at level four, then you would still keep those perks even after you left. Then when you leave Good Springs, you respec your character, you pick your special stats, you pick your skilled stats once again, and then you level all the way back up to whatever level you were. So you could level once again all the way back up to level 50 and then pick just as many perks once again and you would essentially have double the amount of perks having 50 perks in total and being extremely overpowered and the rest of the game isn't very fun because you're extremely overpowered. You can kind of just destroy everything because you're so high level and just have all of the good perks for basically any build that you would want to have. You could simply also cheat this in with a console command if you're on PC. If you want to know how to do this, hit the tilde key on your keyboard and then type player dot reward XP and then however much XP you would like to reward. For the sake of this, I rewarded 50,000 XP and got us up to level 23 or so. And then once we left, then we've got double the perks up to that point, as well as the extra bonus from skilled. So it can be extremely strong, and this is probably the strongest way to start out New Vegas if you would like to. I would highly recommend that you don't do the latter, though, where just going and getting a whole bunch of XP is just not worth it, and going to basically throughout the whole game max level is not super fun. I actually like leveling up and getting the stuff and specializing in a particular build, but it can be kind of fun if you just want to go on a power fantasy and have double the amount of perks for a little while. That can be pretty cool, too. I hope this helped you out next time that you're in the wasteland. Till next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.